How you doing? My name is Michael Cortez, and today we are going to be making sage fennet baked potatoes. First, we start off with a pound and a half of potatoes that we have peeled, and we are going to cut into a large dice. Once you have all your potatoes diced up, you're going to want to place these into a pot of water and boil them until they are nice and tender. Once they have been boiling, you want to take your potatoes and strain them out and let all the water run from the potatoes. We will then take the potatoes. We have two ounces of Parmesan cheese, so two ounces of butter, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper and place that into a bowl. What we have over here is a sage cream that we have uh, taken three quarters of a cup of some sage, or I'm sorry, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and added some sage to it and let the flavors uh, infuse really nice into that. We'll add that to the potato. And now this part, you want to take your potatoes and mash them up until they're nice and smooth. And this is the time that you want to check to see if you have enough salt and pepper in your potatoes. Perfect. Once you're done, you take your potatoes and we place them into a piping bag, which we will pipe onto a sheet tray on a non-stick baking surface. And we're going to place these into a 450 degree oven for about nine minutes or until about golden brown. Once you have your potatoes and they are nice and golden brown, we will place these on a on plate. And for the garnish, we have taken a cup of olive oil and some fresh sage leaves and fry them together for about five seconds over medium to high heat. And this is going to be a nice garnish to our sage-headed baked potato.